Hello, this is Jefferson Childs. And I am Shuri Vamir. And we are presenting to you today for our digital learning project in nutrition. We have chosen to do this presentation around the topic of intermittent fasting in conjunction with intermittent calorie restriction dieting to help with weight loss along with prevention of onset of aging. The first topic we will focus on is intermittent fasting. This is a term given to various types of dieting, it's an umbrella term. The most popular variation of the intermittent fasting and calorie restrictive diet which we have found has come to be the method of alternate day fasting, though other popular forms of fasting exist and are popular. An example would be the Terry Crews diet, where he fasts for the first portion of the day and only ingests food in the evening. Alternate day fasting, which is the most popular intermittent fasting and calorie restricted diet fad that we have found, is essentially fasting for one full day period, followed by a regular day of no fasting, or fasting for say most of the day, 23 hours, and having one meal a day during that one other hour. There are many variations of this diet, and some of these variations allow for the ingestion and consumption of lo some low calorie drinks and beverages, for example, say coffee. Also, some variations of the calorie restrictive diet aspect could include major restrictions of calorie intake. For example, one could say restrict oneself to 20% of calor caloric intake during a 24 hour period and then have regular intake for the next 24 hour period. This is known as a modified fasting technique and can still hold most of the good qualities of the full-on fast of intermittent fasting for a person. The key is in intermittent fasting, more so than the extensive calorie restriction. But the facts speak for themselves. And according to our uh, first reference we'll uh, relay here, a review by top science guys Barnowski, Hoddy, Unterman and Varaday, and published in 2014. It is shown that intermittent fasting can cause weight loss of 3 to 8 percent during a course of 3 to 24 weeks. In the study, there were indicators of improvement in blood pressure, insulin sensitivities, more adaptive at handling of stress, less inflammation, the list goes on. The study ha had also shown to uh, reduce risk of chronic diseases. Other reviews have been done on studies that were conducted with animal models, and these are shown to include other benefits. Um, from what we understand of uh, intermittent fasting, in conjunction with calorie-restrictive plant-based diet, this can also have effects on other conditions than just obesity, including uh, the things brought about by uh, aging, like, uh, like chronic problems with aging. A specific study we found has detailed that the rhesus monkeys, a breed of monkey which shares about 93% of the genome with humans, has concluded that a calorie-restrictive diet without malnutrition can extend lifespan and delay the onset of age-related problems and disorders, though it is to be considered that the female monkeys were more receptive to the positive aspects of this. And this is our second reference. It should be considered that there were some noted biomarkers for risks in the caloric restrictive aspect of the diet. Some of these included cancer and cardiovascular risks, and displays of increased aggressive behavior in some of the animals tested. These considered, however, with a properly adapted caloric restrictive diet for a specific individual that does not involve malnutrition, in conjunction with intermittent fasting, can lead to not only weight loss, but also extended lifespan and lower risk of age-related diseases. This was the conclusion that we found. Thank you. Created using Powtoon.